are downtown Chicago starving. I'm so hungry. Oh my goodness. Jenny, I'm so hungry. I'm actually upset because like it's dark outside right now. It's, it's like really cloudy. It was 80 degrees earlier today, so I'm not sure. I like this too. I like this. We're taking pictures, so join us. Hey, uh, we behind the scenes because got the camera with me. You know what I'm saying? This is how we do it. skin looks so good without makeup on and then I put makeup on and now I'm like upset I'm like shoot I should have just left I'm my skin upset. I'm going bareless bareless I'm going bare skin tomorrow <laughs> I'm going bareless. I'm going bareless tomorrow I'm so thoughtless bareless what <laughs> I like this building too it's not white it's like I'm like mint yeah it's like a mint oh I like it this will be cute on my feet <laughs> I love your sound effect no, don't be trying to copy me. No, babe. I want one of these. You trying to copy me? I want one of these. We can get one together. We can put this camera on the tripod. Anybody got time for that? Make sure you get the angles. No, no more on this. are made in-house so they have like all these nice cocktails with like lavender ginger hibiscus this is cute it's a nice little vibe it's in the quieter part of chicago you know on the northern side so i appreciate that because it's not like super busy and super crazy like um you know down in the middle of downtown we went to a korean barbecue place one time and we didn't actually get the Korean barbecue. We got like, we ordered like regular food. We should have did the Korean barbecue. Um, we've been to Shabu Shabu, which is like making your own broth. So that's different, but it's kind of like the same build your own content. Ooh, y'all are Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we got our fixings ready. Arroz. I forgot what avocado is in Spanish. I don't know. Purple onion, cilantro, pico, chimichurri sauce, barbecue sauce, and our tamarindo sauce. Okay. And here are your shrimp. my steak but the shrimp was really good I can't do steak like that I'm not a steak person but the steak was really good if I was a steak person I probably would have ate all of it but I can't I don't digest steak very well so I probably shouldn't eat that 
but the shrimp was really good. Like it's good by itself. Right. <laughs> and then Cam has his egg sandwich over here. I could only eat half of it. So big. Oh, it was a <laughs> large. However I say this is gonna sound wrong, but they gave you nice portions. Very generous portions. The fries are really good. I can't eat all those. I ate half my torta. The shrimp was fire. Biggie cooked up, whipped up some steaks. That was good. The chips and guac was good. Everything was good. The chips and salsa was good. The water is good. <laughs> The water, like, the water though. This is some good water. Yeah, everything was really good. I'm not a big fan of cooking my own food. Uh, I'm gonna do all that. Somebody not getting a tip. But uh, yeah, like I'm legit full. I liked it. I think this is a cool concept. I've never seen it done with Mexican food before. I've always seen it with Asian food. So to see it with a different type of food is actually really cool. I would I would do it again. I, I like the concept of cooking my own food. I think it's fun because then I get to choose what I want on my taco and everything. Try the different sauces. I feel like you get a little bit more for your a little bit more for your money because it's not already put together. So you get more food. <laughs> which may or may not be a good thing depending on what your appetite is like. For us, we're not we're not really heavy eaters like that, so we, we probably should have just shared this because he didn't even eat all that. Mr. I don't want to cook, I want to eat my torta. Summertime shy. I'm about to be real sleep on this ride back. I just want you to know. I'm already driving. No, who, 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 what? No, I'm not. I am not Can you leave that building that we were taking pictures next to? It seems like it's so far away. What? You what building? See, like, straight. You probably can't see it too short. Oh, I see it. Not that short. I said it like I'm tall. <laughs> right, exactly. You're only like... Only like... You're only like a few inches taller than me. Only like... Not a few. Somebody that's a few inches taller than me is still taller than me. You're like, you're like five inches. How tall are you? I'm five three. Okay, I'm five nine. So there's that. Six inches. According to the mothers at the church, I'm growing. No. <laughs> what? I'd be like, I'd be like, no. No, you're Mother just shrinking. A's, Mama E, y'all shrinking. Ooh, I'm full. Listen. Man. I can barely walk. I've never had a bad meal in Chicago. They have really good food in Chicago. Like, if you want some good food, come to Chicago because I've never been to a place where I did not like the food. All the restaurants here are fire. We're gonna make this trek back up to the north side. I feel like it's not even like nighttime. You wanna walk to Apple? I'm gonna have to find parking over there. You can walk. Hey guys, what's up? So I wasn't gonna do this right now, but I think I am going to do it. If you see this hole in the ceiling, you probably don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys. I mean, first of all, it's been a long time since I vlogged, so let's just not even talk about that. Um, but I wanted to have something meaningful to vlog. I was gonna vlog, I wanted it to be meaningful. M many of you have probably seen um, our beginning of the year anniversary video where me and Cam talked about our um, we did like a Q&A, we talked about our goals and stuff for the year. And even in my own personal goals video that I did for 2019, I talked about that we wanted to get a home this year, we wanted to get another house. Um, we we're ready to move out of this place and get a new house, get something bigger and better with more space because we are pretty much at capacity here. Um, it's seven months into the year and we have at this point decided that our goal is still the same working towards getting the new house. We're doing this in phases, basically. We've got different phases. So me and Cam kind of sat down and planned out these phases. And phase one is going to be fixing up this house because we can't move out of here until this place is 
in the best shape possible so that if we do plan to rent this place out or sell it in the future um we want to make sure that it is updated it's nice because i mean obviously it's gonna be somebody else's home regardless of if we rent it out or not it needs to be nice because then we don't want issues and we have to keep coming back to the house and fixing stuff and paying for stuff you know what i mean so as landlords or as um you know uh sellers home sellers we want to make sure that the house is in tip-top shape other than just fixing it up there are other ways that we can make more space so that we aren't completely full in this home because what i've noticed is i have really bad organizational skills and even though i i do like to be organized and i have a good system on how to organize it doesn't really work for my lifestyle and the things that I do. I'm gonna have a professional organizer, AKA my sis, Ash. Um, she's gonna come and help me. Well, we've already started the process of um, assessing the area, the areas that I need organized, but she's basically gonna help me organize my whole house. I want her to help me organize my whole house, reorganizing everything and just making the most of the space that I have. Um, she did something really, really powerful to me on the phone yesterday. She was like, you know, most people try to balance their life based on a scale. So like more of this, less of this, you know what I'm saying? People try to base their balance in their lives on that kind of scale. But really the average person needs to balance their life based on a Jenga scale. So like a Jenga game, you know, you play a Jenga game, you stack you stack the, the blocks up and then you remove blocks and you put them on top and you just rebalance it and reposition it strategically so that it works for you and that's kind of how i have to live my life because i have so many different pieces of my puzzle to my life in general i just need to figure out a better way to balance things um as far as like how much stuff i have where i put it where it goes so it's more of a jenga game so that's what we're about to do is play some jenga and reorganize everything and try to get everything you know looking the best and functional in phase one of getting the new house, we're going to fix up this house and we're going to organize. We're gonna get rid of stuff, we're gonna declutter. So I'm gonna be showing most of that process if I can. So that's why I wanted to start off with today and show you guys what just happened today. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. You probably haven't because I haven't really been showing my house that much, mainly because I thought this was ugly and I didn't want anybody to really see it. But you guys see these water stains here on the ceiling? There was one really, really big one right here, but they cut the ceiling out this morning to figure out what was going on. Um, but we have water stains. So our ceiling was leaking. I believe, we believe it was the air conditioning. Um, at first, it was the air conditioning. There was a crack in the pan that collects condensation. Our air unit is upstairs instead of it being downstairs. It's upstairs and it pushes the air down instead of it rising up, if that makes sense. Heat rises and in the summertime, it gets really hot and the, the AC pipe, the pipes that go to the AC were, will build up condensation because of the cold air or whatever. I'm documenting our home, in, home improvement processes. <laughs> we're just trying to minimize the stuff that we have that we don't use. Decluttering, you know. So she was like, yeah, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just come over and help you declutter first and then we can work on figuring out how to um, organize everything. Naturally, we want to keep things that we really don't even need. You don't need to. And like half these shoes down here can go. All these shoes in this closet that were over there, I don't even wear those. None of those. I forgot that I had them. It's some Fenty slides in here that I haven't seen since. <laughs> 2016 but anyways um back to the ceiling yeah so there's condensation that was leaking down this happened last year um and that's why there was already these are previous water stains and it stopped after we got it fixed he came and took the pan out and replaced the pan or whatever and that was supposed to catch the condensation so that we weren't leaking water that was last summer that that happened this summer came we went out of town we went to go visit my family over the weekend and the weekend was really hot it's like abnormally hot in Chicago. It was like over 100 degrees. So once we got back, we tried to run the air. We started running the air on Sunday night. Monday morning, the ceiling was leaking right there again. And I was like, okay, this is not good. Let me tell Cam. So I told Cam it was leaking. And uh, we had the guys come out. The AC guys came. They checked everything. They said nothing's wrong with the pan. Nothing's wrong with the air conditioning. So it's probably a plumbing problem. So we called a plumber. Plumber came out. Super nice guy. He's a ginger. I love him. He did some inspecting 
Um, and then he was like, okay, I don't see anything wrong with the plumbing. The water is fine. Everything looks fine with the water lines and stuff. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut open the ceiling to see if there's any leakage or any mold up there because you don't want any mold to grow. He did cut the ceiling open, cut out a little square in the ceiling. But um, he looked up in the ceiling. There's nothing wrong with the wire, the, the piping and stuff. No leaks at all. The inside of the drywall actually didn't even have any water damage like on it. Like there was no, there was no signs of leak on the water, um, on the drywall that he cut out. The good thing, the good news is there are no issues with the AC, no issues with the plumbing. As he was going through our water system, he was looking at our pipes and he started talking to me about um, hard water and chlorine and fluoride and all the crap that they put in our city water. Um, and he was explaining that he uses well water. He was like, listen, I know the government is trying to, they, they don't care about our bodies. Fluoride was used in concentration camps and the Nazis and all of this. So we, we just had a whole long talk about our conspiracies about how the government's trying to kill us. Yes, so he was basically telling us that our water is trash. It's full of chlorine. He did a test on it and it has like a terrible number. He offered to give us the inspection and the cutout that he did today for free so that we could get a water filtration system. He was like, I'd rather you guys spend money on the water filter than to spend money on me just cutting open the ceiling and nothing is there. So today we had all these people come out and do, not, do all of this for basically nothing. And we purchased a water filter to save lives. That was today's festivities. Uh, we currently have a hole in our ceiling and it'll be a little while before we get that fixed um, just because I think Cam is going to take this opportunity to do some electrical work. He's look, looking at getting an electric car, looking at getting a Tesla. So um, we will be documenting that in the future as well. Um, we're looking into that and that will be a part of the home improvement process as well because we'll have to have an electric charger put in our garage. Um, and then also I wanted to get um, some of our electrical situations looked at because the house we moved into was a smart house for 2004 and not a smart house for 2019. So we wanted to update some of this stuff in here like the wiring for the hookups to play music throughout the house and all of that. So that the next person that moves in won't have any issues trying to work it next part of phase one which would be to get the carpets either deep cleaned and treated or just rip up the carpet and get on new carpet um i'm also looking at fixing the bathrooms as well because i don't like the shower just the whole shower is just throw away the whole shower and to be quite honest i want to enjoy some of the fruits of our labor so once we get all this stuff fixed i do plan on like trying to enjoy it while we're here you know what i'm saying i want it to be brand new for the next person but i also want to like use it a little bit because i want to enjoy it too i paid for it i might as well but in doing all of this my hopes are that we will prepare ourselves for the expensive and gruesome process of either buying a new home or building a new home or whatever we plan on doing in the future it'll also be um good for our resale value on the house so we'll put equity back into the house which will help bring up the price so that when we do try to sell it or rent it out it'll be ready and we'll get a little bit more chump change on the side said all that to say this is number one the vlog number one of our home renovation process and i hope to take you guys through this little journey because i know you guys love journeys people love journeys on youtube right What's up, beautiful people? <laughs> Welcome back to Life with the Logans, where we are Cameron and Victoria. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a minute, but uh, it's hot than a mud. We hungry than a mud. We ate all day. We had a community outreach event at the church this morning. We had a funeral for a family member. And now we're about to just enjoy some time together. Vicky got the, <laughs> she got the braids, so you already know how your boy feeling. Okay. Uh, we're about to eat Summer House. Summer House what? Santa Monica. Summer House Santa Monica. Summer House Santa Monica. Reservation was at 2. We changed it to 3 because it's, Chicago. It's 2.35. Because Chicago. So, yeah. Um, also going to take some pictures and whatnot. And uh, if you guys aren't, go ahead and follow my photography page, Cam on the Cam. Real easy. Cam on the Cam. You can also follow our other social medias as well. So, yeah. Let's go ahead. Is, is it brunch all day? No. What you thought? I thought it was brunch. 
You thought it was brunch? Yeah. You I looked at the menu? Like no, I just was. Why did you think? Why would you not look at the menu? I just be trusting sometimes what you be saying. The food is good. I'm But it's there. okay. It's all good. Because then we're going to get some Jennies. It's right there. We're going to get some Jennies. Jenna. 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 I'm so excited. I love Jennies. We're going to get out of this hot car because I'm about to have a heat stroke. I can't breathe right now. I look so tan and, and luxurious. Uh, brown skin. You, look, <laughs> you lucky I was hungry. We almost delete a house. Okay. You guys miss us? <laughs> they still have brunch. Brunch until 3.30. I'm excited. So excited. Great choice, Cam. I mean, their, their regular food is good here too. I've been here three times. Thank you. It's gonna be so good. My heart. This is what I'm eating. Right through. Got them young buttermilk pancakes. Got the young avocado toast with the egg over hard and the Brussels sprouts. You dig? And then Vicky has pizzas and cream French toast. <laughs> so you gotta say it. What do you have? Oh, I have pizzas and cream. All right, so we just finished our food here. And it was simply amazing. The water was amazing. My pineapple. The ginger beer was amazing. Be right back guys. Our little drink was amazing. Everything is good. The camera's dying. The water is amazing. And the camera's dying. We'll be back. What's good everybody? It's your boy Cam. And we're back again with a yet another video. We've been gone for a minute, but we're back. Um, we're today back. is Saturday. A August. August Ooh, 3rd. I was about to say April. August 3rd. Happy birthday, Amber. Shout out to you. Shout out to Amber. This dress is breezy. <laughs> it is a nice hot summer day. I like it. I think I'm gonna be sunburned, but it's okay. We're going to Nordstrom. I don't know what Cam needs to do, but he really wanted to go. Great God, he I have something to take back, per the usual. And it's the last day of the anniversary sale, so some notes about this dress. It ain't safe, it ain't safe. She got a big old booty. Yes, she does. You think it's real? Big old. <laughs> big booty, big old. Yeah. That's like, like the biggest thing for me, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get a gray one again, because I already got a gray one. Do you feel accomplished? I do. I'm still kind of like, ah, I didn't know, you know, what, what, I wanted to get the hoodie or the kernak or whatever. The kernak, the honey and the kernak. I'll probably eventually end up getting one of the hoodies. We're at Nordstrom. I was able to cop some of the, uh, the fog essentials that I was looking for. You dig? And uh, I copped the black nylon shorts right off the mannequin. So I feel pretty accomplished. And now we're sitting here about to get some nice, good food. Locust and Wild Honey Facebook group. Shout out to y'all. Y'all kept me. Y'all kept me in the loop when I thought all hope was lost. Y'all kept me in the loop. But, uh, also, if you haven't followed Cam on the Cam Instagram page yet, you should be doing that. It's probably new to y'all because y'all, we ain't been recording in a long time, but Cam on the Cam at Instagram. Go do it, go follow. We got some exciting things in the works, man. <laughs> Are you in the camera? Y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna, Ooh, You can't see too much. Thirsty right now, so you really gotta chill. Okay, we'll be back with the food. Food is here. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this food. Let it be nourishment to our bodies. We pray for now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. <laughs> My favorite meal, y'all. I already know what it is. Look at what you got in Tell the people what you have there. Ne bolognese. Save me some of that because that looks good. Anybody know what the name of this is? Um, that is 
forgot. I know what it's called. We ran into the homie Kiki. Hey guys. Kiki. So but yeah, Vicky didn't wanna, she wanna vlog it, but yeah. She's down here, you know, homie Kiki was out in LA working out there, but now she back, so her and Vicky over here catching up. They out here getting it in, you see them? You see the brown skin girls? You see the beautiful brown skin girls? Hey guys, and I'm gonna pop in. Okay. I'm gonna twist it. Talk to them. You look like you need am I? I feel so much better now. Sorry if I seem dead, but I'm home. Anybody want these? I'm about to sell them. Push, 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 push. Oh, 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 oh. get back from the city and these dusty people didn't tow my car and then he tried to say it's because I left the premises even though I get my hair cut at this place because I left the premises I was no longer conducting business in the strip mall these people towed my car it's about to cost like $195 parking lot is janky anyway potholes everywhere hopefully you guys use this $195 or whatever it's about to cost to fix the parking lot because it's trash like they really just told my car like for no reason but I should have left it I should have left it park where it was right by Quayla's car well they would have seen you getting out and getting it don't it car. don't matter though it don't matter so you still could have got told Nobody. Nobody even parks at this place. He's like, yeah, you just telling me what everybody else tells me. Like, do you want a receipt? I have receipts. I don't. I don't. I don't have to lie, bro. I have receipts. I'm heated right now. It better not be. It better not be no additional nicks, scratches, nothing on my car. I promise you. All dusty people. All right, so we made it back home. I'm still kind of upset. Like I, like the whole time coming back home, I was like, yo, this dude really just towed my car. And then on the sign at where I get my haircut at and where my car was parked, it said it was 195. I get to the place, he said it's 305. I really want to say what I really want to say, but I can't because this is a family channel and I'm saved. But I'm like, bro, what? It's 195 for the tow, 65 for the storage, and 45 for after hours. When y'all towed my car, it was after hours. And when we pulled up to the tow place, it said the hours were from 8 to 12. So y'all was off. You decided to do that. Nobody, nobody told you to do that. But my dad been teaching on, he's been having these wonderful messages on the flesh. <laughs> And I really wanted to say some things to this dude, but I didn't because he might not have even been the dude that told my car. I don't want to be, you know, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on. Um, prayers, prayers out to the people in El Paso for the loss of lives out there due to a mass shooting. You know, I just, it just, my word for this year has really been just perspective. So I, I just try to put things into perspective. I could have lost my life today but instead, my car got towed. I mean, a life or a towed car, you know? So you just gotta look at things in a different light. And at least you had me with you, you know what I'm saying? When I got my car towed. Right, cause I- We didn't I, even wanna go through the rigmarole. Yeah. Vicky got her, her car towed last year, two years ago. She was sick, she was throwing up. Food she, poisoning. she had food poisoning, her car got towed in the city. And that's even but in worse. the city, it makes sense to tow cars because it's a lot of cars, so you need the space. It wasn't nobody in that parking lot. 
Sorry. I'm, don't, I'm, don't bring me I'm back. making it worse. Don't bring me back. Sorry. So, you know, now we're at home. And our little doggy is here. And, you know, as soon as I see her little face, just get excited and think about all the good things that happened in your life. I was able to cop some things that I wanted. And I'll show you guys on my YouTube channel. So go make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cameron J. Logan. And uh, new midweek motivations are up there. Unless I low-key might start posting them on the Life of the Logan's channel. Um, just because I feel like it'll it'll reach more people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys are believers. Um, you guys know that we're believers. We believe in the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You guys believe the same thing. So I might just post those there. Y'all let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to post the midweek motivations on this channel. And then I'll, you know, leave my personal channel to, you know, my little fashion related, you know, tech, nerdy, geeky car stuff that I'm about to be doing on, on the channel over there. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, we're supposed to be having a meeting here with some of our youth leaders in our wonderful home and, you know, had to push the meeting back. I don't know if everybody's gonna be able to make it now because you know, people people be wanting their time on their Saturday. I'm gonna shut up now. Drink me some water and calm my nerves. Hi guys, so today is Monday. Typical Mondays, I usually work all day on Mondays, get caught up on stuff, answering emails, having phone calls, things of that nature. So I did all of that today and um about to head to the gym so monday is usually gym day with me and cam we usually like work out he goes to the gym and plays basketball and then i meet him at seven o'clock to do a really quick training session gg she's trying to act like she don't hear me she already know what's up anytime i call her she knows i'm about to leave she don't want me to leave so um, I'm gonna put my slides in here. I need to run to the store before I go to the gym so I'm a little early so that I can get some dinner. Gigi really ain't playing with me right now. Oh, you're already in there. Look guys, she's already in here. I'm so proud of you, Gigi. I'll be back, okay? See you when I get back. <laughs> She's so smart. I love her. I need to take my protein before I leave, actually. Let me try to do that really quickly. Milk. She needs some milk. And shake it up. Let's hit it. All right, we're at the gym. My, I just finished hooping. My jersey's ripped, but I'm about to work out. I sent Vicky some workouts. I don't know if we're gonna go with those right now. We'll see. I'm about to do a little circuit. I need to do abs, so I'm gonna do some ab stuff. We're gonna do some core work. I'm gonna work her lower half, so let's get it. struggling because that crap is hard get it boo get it get it get it get it get it get it yeah 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 it's all about the encouragement all about this what's all about
y'all. So I'm just letting y'all know, Tracy, this man right here. What's going on, boy? He the reason why I broke my my elbow. You blaming that on me? It was his league. He I had, ain't lying. He ain't lying. <laughs> he had me playing on that hard court, on that field house floor. So it's his it's his fault. Hey, shout out to Cooper. He gonna be in the league. He's six five. He already twelve. <laughs> my man Corey if y'all need anything from Nike he will not give you a discount because he's not there no more <laughs> this guy <laughs> my man Freddie right here I have never not seen him without a haircut so <laughs>